Hey, my name is Nika Comet, and this is uh, another video diary episode. I wanted to talk about something that I am living through right now, and uh, I'm very proud of myself because uh, I've been willing to um, overcome some uh, difficulties in my own character. Uh, in my own organization um, for a long time but um, I never actually took uh, I've, I never uh, took any steps uh, any serious steps I could be ranting uh, about my bad mood uh, about my mood swings about my mood changes um, but um, I never actually undertook um, any serious steps to fight it. I was always happy to be in a good mood, but then I knew that um, my down phase would come uh, and uh, would completely destroy me for uh, three days or four days. Um, and um, of course, I never liked it because uh, in these periods I didn't want to uh, communicate with people, I didn't want to um, create anything, I would just want to be in the bed. I wouldn't even want to, uh, to, to do pleasant things that people usually do uh, when they're tired, you know, or when, when they feel that they need to allow themselves something, you know, people would go get drunk or uh, if if you know girls would allow themselves to eat to eat a basket of ice cream um, even that wouldn't cheer me up or maybe just a tad um, so um, starting with this year and uh, coming back to that talk about persistency um, I decided to finally change my life to better um, and I started working on my mood I, I uh, consciously chose to be in a good mood and to do anything that is needed to be done to stay in that mood and figure out what figure out the tools that help me to do so um, and uh, the second task was to figure out how to switch moods more um, easily because we would read a lot of books that would tell us oh you just have to choose to be in a good mood and you're just you know you're ruined you feel like a mess what are you supposed to do um, a lot of people, as I said, would start with material things like uh, pleasures, you know, or um, a lot of people would say, oh, I don't feel happy because I, ha I don't have this or this, uh, or I'm going to be happy when I get that or that, and those, this or that would be some material things um, like oh I want a new dress when I get a new dress I'm gonna be happy but then you get a new dress for girls or boys you get a new car and then it only makes you happy for for a day or two maximum a week but then you come back to your usual condition and then what that's why that's why a lot of people say uh, it's very dangerous to um, actually have your wishes fulfilled because then you don't know what to wish for and uh, it's the same with uh, whatever people wish for money or fame or uh, you know being somewhere like when when I used to live in Russia I would think oh I'm not successful because I live in a wrong country because I was born in a wrong country I have to go to the United States and everything would be perfect 
obviously this is not true if you cannot be happy at the moment nothing will make you happy or will but for a short period of time and then you'll just come back to where you were before so uh, what I believe we should do and what I am doing at the moment is to work on our mood uh, probably I'd better say not to work on our mood but to constantly and consciously make efforts to uh, to maintain good mood and to point out those little changes in our mood that eventually bring us to a completely opposite condition. Um, another question. So someone was very, very skeptic about me sharing, uh, sharing my thoughts about persistency. Um, I think that when we share our thoughts, our knowledge, our understanding, um, about a thing that we, or a thing or, or an object or, um, about something that we are living through at the moment, we do it, it, it is present. It is so vivid, um, that it can't be compared with some past experience. But of course, uh, if you want to know how to be wealthy, you want to, you want to listen to advice from people who are wealthy because they can prove it, you know, with experience. So, um, there's no point in listening to people who do not have a slightest idea what they're talking about. Um, or, you know, you, you don't want them to give you advice, right? Cause it's most supposedly it's useless. Um, why I feel that I can't share this advice first, because I feel the need. The second is because I'm working, uh, on these things at the moment. I'm passionate about them. Uh, and, uh, they, they, they motivate me every day they make me feel better and uh i really that's why i want to share them because i believe that um uh, you can use it for for your needs or maybe later i will watch them and will you know correct some of my uh, some will remember something that i forgot how to be happy um so i figured that to actually feel happy, you have to be in a good mood. Of course, it's a very vast topic and, uh, it can be tens and hundreds of videos on this topic. And obviously it's not enough to record a 15 minute video, um, about how to be happy. Uh, but I'll just try to touch upon the subject and, uh, Let's see where it goes. Maybe um, we'll want to discuss it uh, on my next live stream uh, that I'm going to do on Saturday at night, um, Pacific Standard Time. If you guys want to join in, um, feel free to do so. Let's uh, talk. Let's discuss. The good mood. How to achieve good mood. You have to be conscious about changes in, in, um, in your mood you have to start analyzing your feelings and your reactions to your own thoughts and to the, um, to the outside environment, right? If you suddenly realize you're in a bad mood, ask yourself, why am I in a bad mood? Did something upset me? Did something happen that upset me that brought me, uh, into a bad mood? Um, if you find what happened, then ask yourself, can I solve this? Can I solve this, uh, problem or what can I do about it? There's two options. You can either really do something. For example, um, you don't have enough money 
to pay rent, let's say, that bothers you and that brought, brings you in a bad mood. Um, so you have one option to find the money, which would have a lot of different decisions, right? To find, to find a better job or to borrow money or to find some one-time gig to, to get that money or whatever. There's, there's a few options, right? So you just have to explore a, a little bit and that will help you to solve your problem. Or if it's a problem that you can't actually solve, for example, something, something bad happened in the world and you got upset about it. Can you help it somehow? If you can, go ahead and do it. If you can't, then you have to either let it go or change your attitude. You have to justify for yourself somehow. Or if it's something um, that, ha that, that truly and fully depends on your attitude, then you have to change your attitude. And so many books just say about it, but I, I know how hard it is to do so. But the paradox is that if you don't do it, if you keep saying it is hard or impossible, then you don't really want to do it. This is amazing. This is simple. And this is so, so true. So if, if you prefer to stay in a bad mood, again, this is your choice. And if you can't change it, if you, if, if you say you want to change it, but you don't do anything about it, then you don't really want to change it. If you try and fail, if you try and fail, at least you try and no matter how many times you fail if you keep trying you will eventually succeed like in anything persistency right um, so um, the best advice that I give myself is to try to be conscious and attentive to yourself every second and uh, when you're already in a bad mood um, deal with it don't don't just drop it don't try to solve it with alcohol or weed or don't try to pour it out to on other people because it happens a lot you can be in a, in a bad mood and then someone would start talking to you and you'd be like just angry at them for nothing Right? We don't want that to happen. We don't want to offend our uh, close ones or even people that we don't know. Right? Because that happens to all of us in life a lot. You know, just some random person would start shouting at you and you'd be like, what are you, what's your problem? And, and we would take it personally, but in fact, we shouldn't because there's plenty of people around us that are unhappy, that are in a bad mood, and... Um, the best thing we can do is to to just treat them with understanding because it happens to us too and if everybody treats everybody else with understanding um and trying to put themselves in the, those other people's shoes then the world would be a better place for all of us